Hi everyone, 314 Reactor here. This week I've done a quick project called the Tinned Heisenberg Principle. So the principle is basically that anything in quantum physics that you try and measure, you change the state of, and so you can't know the state that it was originally in before you measured it. I wanted to make a kind of simulation of this effect, so I came up with this, which is basically an Arduino in a tin, which has an RGB LED on it, and when you close the lid, the LED is set to a random color that you can't know because the lid's closed, and when you open it, the LED then changes color so you can't ever know the original color that it was in before you tried looking at it. So let's take a look at this up close. Okay, so let's have a real-time demonstration. So you open it up, you flick the power on, and I close the lid. So now the lid's closed. I now can't tell what the color of the LED is unless I try and open it, in which case the LED color would have changed. And then close again. That's reset the LED color again. But I don't know what it is, because of course I can't see it. So as soon as I try and open it again, it will have now changed. Now, I can now simulate what's happening when the box is closed. It's off at the moment, and you close the lid, press that. You get a bluish sort of color. And then when you open the lid to try and see what the color is, it then changes to a completely different color so you can't know what the color originally was inside. So, and then open, and close, and then open. And then every time you close, it's doing that. And you open, it's resetting it. So obviously you can cheat by pressing the button, but the point is, is that when the lid's closed, it's a certain color inside, you can't tell what it is, unless you try and look at it, and which you open, and then it's changed. So this works by taking a value from the light dependent resistor and then using that to seed a random number generator which generates a number between 0 and 255 for each pin of the RGB LED. I chose to use the LDR sensor data as a seed for the random number generator. I needed a truly random number to seed the generator uh, between 0 and 255 rather than using pseudo random. And I used the random number generator like that instead of just scaling down the raw number from the sensor because otherwise you'd then have linear values from whatever the sensor was and the LED would just end up being brighter or darker directly depending on what the LDR sensor data was and I didn't want that, I wanted some truly random colors to be coming out of it. The reason why I used this button instead of the LDR to detect when the lid was closed is because the LED will be on and then of course affecting the LDR. So the best way to determine whether it was open or closed was to just have the button there. Of course you can cheat and press the button and just not close the lid, but the point is is that while the lid is closed, you can't see what the LED is, and then when you open it, it then changes the colour. That was the point of this uh, experimental project, in that in order to see the colour of the LED inside the tin, you have to open the tin, but then that changes the colour of the LED. So any time you try and measure, in effect, the LED, you affect the environment that it's in, and then change the colour. Anyway, this is a fun little project for me, so please let me know if I've got anything wrong about the Heisenberg Principle, because I really know nothing about any of it, really. So please let me know if I've got something wrong about that. So thanks for watching. If you like this, please give it a like and maybe subscribe. I've always got new projects I'm working on, so a subscription will let you see those coming up on YouTube. And you can also check out my blog and Hackster pages and Electromaker pages in the links below to see how I've made this, as well as the construction and code of it. So feel free to go down there and take a look, as well as my Twitter. So check those out if you want, and I'll see you next time.